So it's it's interesting, but the world is becoming draconian. I like to I, I like to think we're fighting back, especially with the big tech censorship. That stuff's starting to go in our favor yeah, a little that, bit. That's what I was going to say. Actually, big tech censored you, and if you could undo that censorship, would you? I think they failed. How am I censored? Mm. I'm the first person who's been canceled where it's absolutely monumentally failed. And mm. I think there's a huge, I think there's a bunch of pressure behind the dam. I think a lot of people are pissed off with these people, mm. but what, what holds people back from really speaking their mind is everyone's afraid of the cancellation. Once somebody like me proves cancellation doesn't work and we put a crack in the dam, I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna break. I think a lot of people are gonna sit there and go, you know what, take got mm. canceled, he's fine. Mm. So I'll, I'll say what I mean now and I'll say what I mean now. They can't ban everybody, right? Do, they can't ban everyone. Do you feel that it's impacted you in people reaching out to you though, with not having a direct link to yourself? I mean, we had you on Instagram before and we're like, oh no, he's gone now. We, we can't yeah. get in touch with you. Yeah, I'm a little bit harder to reach, but uh, mm. I'm not complaining about that, to be honest. <laughs> uh, but, and yeah, there's, there's more work involved perhaps in getting my message out sometimes, but I'm now on Rumble, which has been fantastic to me, which is a YouTube competitor. And I have to give them a shout out because they've been completely fantastic. Mm. And it is amazing how quickly you adapt to the idea of being able to speak absolutely uncensored. Because even if you don't think you're censoring yourself on a platform like YouTube, you are. You may not mm. think you are, but you're still sitting going, let me say it this way. And if I'm going to mention this, you know, the, 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 the flu we all had to hide from, let me say mm. it this way that once you get used to just saying whatever you want, it's, it's pretty refreshing. So rumble has been absolutely amazing to me. And I think a lot of people are moving over there and making up backup channels on there, but yeah. And then Elon came and unbanned me and bought Twitter. So we're starting to win a little bit, which I think is good because I think that without truth and without free speech we were always going to head to absolute tyranny and slavery so does rumble give you access to your own data because i think that's a big thing like own, owning your own email list even and and youtube you, you can't do that all the other platforms you can't yeah you can own your own subscribers with rumble you can yeah okay, so that's awesome. I, I would look into it heavily and the ceo chris is really a, mm. a, a hero for free speech and then obviously elon on the other side with twitter that's why i can't insult tesla anymore so i'm sorry <laughs> i shut up now how but, did it happen with twitter how did they actually get you back on what was the process i just got an email saying log in Simple as that. That was it, yeah. Job done. done. Just I was, done. I was like, done. okay. <laughs> so that was it. So, yeah. uh, well, so you've mentioned free speech there. Do you believe 100% in everything that you say and everything you put out there? Or is some of it just to poke the bear and cause uh, controversy? I believe in every point I make. However, there are points I make in a deliberately aggressive fashion to upset mm. people. Yeah, I do that. But uh, I do still mean everything I say. Do you I'm, think that bites back at you a little bit? A little bit too much sometimes or perhaps it can do but you know i'm not afraid of uh i mean i'll, I'll stay right here I've, I've had a lot of people say what's it like to be canceled and you know the whole world hated you and mm. everyone was out to get you and there was all these people trying to contact your family and dox their addresses mm. and i didn't give a fuck i don't care i don't maybe i'm supposed to care but i've had real problems in my life i'm not some youtuber i've done mm. real things with real difficulty and real issues People write in hate comments about me, some dork with an add-on account. I couldn't possibly care less. It doesn't bother me. So because it doesn't bother me, I guess that influences how I talk, right? But um, I want to get my point across as compendiously and poignantly as possible. And I think that the aggression being involved in some of the things I'm saying is necessary for people to truly understand them. I think that's the reality of the world. So I'm going to say it exactly how I feel it. And that's how I feel it. And if people want to cry about it, they can cry in the comment section. I don't read the comments. I don't have an account. So I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. I'm banned. 